Well, that ought to do it. And now that the experiment's secure, I can secure my exit. <laughs> about in the party zone. Now I've got a broken nail, too! Break it to you, Megan, but you're a girl. Yeah, shouldn't you be spending your days off talking on the phone or shoe shopping or going to a slumber party? Well, I could do those things, but as a feminist, I choose to spend my time doing more interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a feminist? More like a tomboy. So, that's what makes me cool. Attention, everyone! I have an announcement to make. In honor of my birthday, I'm having a totally tricked out 13. A way over the top, ridiculously shallow, Where are you going, Miss Tomboy? To get my invitation and prove to you just how cool I truly am. Okay, but I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Let's see. I have one for all the girls whose names end in vowels, one for all the cute boys who adore me, and one for everyone with a celebrity parent. Well, that's it. See you at the party. Tammy, wait. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> You're right. One more thing, people. Don't forget to bring presents. Ciao! <laughs> I meant, aren't you forgetting my invitation? <laughs> invitation? <laughs> As if! You're so not cool enough. <gasps> However, Lee is on the guest list. Give this to him, would you? Wait a minute. Lee was invited and I wasn't? But he couldn't care less about the whole thing. Which is why you can totally have my invite. Forget it. I don't need your charity. I'm going to show everyone just how cool I am by turning into the hippest girl around. <laughs> what gives? Either we're about to be eaten by the school staircase or we're about to be whooped. Uh, who has time for spy problems when I've got all this tween stuff to deal with? <laughs> Hello, spies. Hey, Jerry, thanks for the sneak attack. My pleasure. And now for the reason I brought you here to investigate a bizarre phenomenon that's affecting wealthy teens around the globe, one that appears to be turning them into mutants. No, mutant doesn't even begin to describe it. I agree. The situation is quite troubling. You're not kidding. I can't even imagine what having two noses would do to my allergies. Oh, my. It appears there's another report of teen mutation, this one in Vancouver. <laughs> Let's get gadgety. Indeed. Today we have the virtual wardrobe ring. Cool. A canister of whoop sticky string, enhanced by secretions from the Colobacter crescentus, the world's stickiest marine bacteria. Sweet and gross. The plutonium paddleball bomb. Mm. I can't wait. Oh, Captain Tony, that's a very volatile piece of equipment. Now, ta-ta, team. Make Jerry proud. We always do. You know, except for the time we accidentally left the flesh-eating bacteria sample in your refrigerator. Hmm. Hey, if you're looking for the whoop peanuts, you're out of luck. Because I already ate them all. I'm not looking for snacks. I'm looking for the in-flight reading material. <sighs> the jet comes stocked with all sorts of style magazines that are guaranteed to help me get cooler. Aha! Hipster team, 10 tips to a cooler you. Perfect! Tip number one, get a signature walk. <sighs> I don't know, Megan. You look more like a hippo than a hipster. <laughs> What's happening? We've just hit a patch of thunderstorms. You're gonna have to brace yourselves. And the lightning 
lightning bolt just hit us. Both of the engines are out. Ah! When will I learn to eat after the mission's over? We'd all better hold hands. Oh, that's a really nice gesture, Mark. But instead of giving each other support in our final moments, maybe we should come up with a plan B? This is plan B. Now hurry up. <laughs> and let our jet reactors do their thing. Wealthy teens, whoever lives here is super rich. According to Whoop, it's a teenage girl. Come on, let's sneak inside and spy on her. Sorry, but there's no way I'm going in there looking like this. What difference does it make? We're in spy mode. No one's even gonna see us. So, according to 10 tips to a cooler you, I need to dress to impress. Observe. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, real impressive. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Once Tammy sees me in this, I'm so going to be invited to her party. In that case, I'm definitely going. You are? Uh, yeah, so I can see you make a fool out of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> What you got, guys? A boatload of presents. It's like Christmas morning times 10 in here. Well, we found two giant cakes with candles, which means it's clearly someone's birthday. Mmm, huh? whatever flavor they are. Uh, better not, Tony. I think that someone might be onto us. Whoa, and I thought Lee was airy. Uh, what you talking about, T? Uh, I think he's talking about the bearded lady over there. As in, I think our someone is a some too. Whoa, I guess they must be twins. I kind of wish Jer hadn't skipped that detail in his briefing. We are twins, and we're extremely unhappy. Which is why we're going to get back at you for ruining our big day. Now, time to switch from party time to action mode. Yeah. You got it. Just like the ones on the cover of Hipster Teen. They'll so compliment my new look. They're mine! Give them back! Ow! Watch the outfit! Forget it. There's no way I'm refereeing an accessory fight. Thanks, Lee. Though, I wish you'd taken her out before she gnawed my leather. Actually, her chewing on you is a good thing. It could provide a clue. Which is why we're gonna send it to Jerry for analysis. Review. What fun, freaky facts have we learned on our mission so far? Other than the part where girls with facial hair are really touchy? Not much. Well, I've learned a lot. I mean, at this point, I'm cooler than a penguin eating an ice cream cone. And once I try tip number three, I'll be ready to appeal my case to Tammy and go to her party. Uh, what's tip number three? Try not to sound too smart. Okay, that's officially the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Maybe, but it's totally gonna score me an invite. You heard me. I want 13. And they should all be dyed pink to match my dress. Now stop stalling and get on it! Tammy, <laughs> Ew! What do you want? Like, now that I'm clearly cooler, I was wondering if I can, like, come to your party, Tammy. Not only am I not changing my mind about inviting you, if you don't go away, I'll get a restraining order so your uncoolness doesn't rub off on me! <laughs> Hello? Megan, is that you? Pretty rock and roll, ain't you? Yeah, I'm not even going to ask. In other news, I have an update for you. In addition to containing the teen's saliva, the sample you sent also contains some mutated genes. Wow, looks like mutated is the word of the day. Indeed, the Whoop computer traced them to a laboratory in Southern California, a lab involved in experimental genetic research. Freaky, guess that explains why the girls attacked us. We 
We've sent agents to pick them up from Vancouver. We'll put them in containment until we know more. So, I guess that means we're off to California? You guessed correctly. Be careful, spies. Good thing we got an experience free. <laughs> Is locked. Don't worry, the plutonium paddle ball bomb will take care of that. <laughs> Careful with that thing. <laughs> Oops, guess I let super excited Tony get the best of me. Well, why don't you give it another shot? This time with your brain in the on position and our brains out of the line of fire. <laughs> Bravo, little bro. <laughs> I can't believe someone broke in and stole our research. If it were to fall into the wrong hands, it would have huge consequences, like, like creating a breed of half-human, half-mutants. Whoa! Something tells me it already has! We better let Mark and Megan know ASAP. Hey guys, find anything whoop-worthy? Yeah, apparently the lab had a break-in and some research was stolen. What kind of research? And please don't say the kind that turns teens into psycho mutants. Actually, I was gonna say scary psycho mutants, but yes, that's exactly the kind. Then we better find out who took it right away. <gasps> no! As if I don't have enough to worry about in the party zone, now I've got a broken no way! The intruder broke a nail! Now that's what I call good spy work, Megan. <laughs> now let's snag our clue and figure out who our villain is. I'm all over it. <laughs> According to the Woot database, the nail belongs to a girl named Cat who just so happens to be the daughter of the guy who owns the lab. That would explain how she got access to it. So now all we have to figure out is why she wanted it. Whatever the reason, it looks like she's getting ready to celebrate. I wonder if it has anything to do with the presents and cake we found earlier. Only one way to find out. Whip up some disguises and sneak inside. Or we could go with tip number four. Act like you own the place. would work. At least Hipster Teen is good for something. Okay, spies, time to focus and find out what our villain is up to. I say we start with a little spy and snoop. <gasps> okay, major mission madness moment. Let me guess, the new cool Megan found an amazing wardrobe she can't live without. I wish, though what's in here is so much more interesting. It's like a shrine to birthdays past. So not only is Cat birthday obsessed, but she's also totally insane. Speaking of insane, I just found a list of all the mutated teens on Cat's desktop computer and their dates of birth. And let me guess, they're all turning 13 this week? Exactly. Looks like Cat wants to have the best and only tricked out 13 around. Yeah. <gasps> That's why I sent out this technology goo to all my competition, <gasps> hidden in special birthday cards. <laughs> And when they open the cards to find mutant jean laced confetti, <laughs> instant grossification, and an instant birthday present for me. And you did this just so you could have your dumb party and they couldn't? Pretty smart, don't you think? Now, hold still while I give you four a little mutation of your own. <laughs> Sorry, but we kind of like our body parts the way they are. Uh, another broken nail? Hello? This is turning out to be like the worst it's been day ever. Worstest? Kat must be using hipster teen tip number three as well, because she sounds about as bright as a 20-watt bulb. Pardon the 
the interruption team, but I need to have a word with you. So does this mean you're not staying for cake? Yo, what's with the painful vacuuming bit, Jer? Yeah, we were just about to capture the baddie. I'm afraid you need to gather up the mutant teams first, including a fourth I just found out about. Can we wait till after we take out Crazy Cat? After studying the twins from Vancouver, we've determined that their conditions are worsening by the second. If we don't help them right away, their mutations will be irreversible. <laughs> we'll take care of it, Jer. Yeah, if he gives us a time machine. Otherwise, how are we going to get to them all in time? The nuclear-powered flying hover cycles should do the trick. Did Jerry get the coordinates wrong or something? This is so unfair! How am I supposed to ride my miniature ponies with all this extra junk in my trunk? So much for Tammy being the barometer of cool. Oh, Margaret, you've just got to help me! Uh, it's Megan. And why should I help you with anything, Tammy? Hmm, because I'm the most popular girl in school and everyone worships me? Eh. Try again. Ugh, fine. I'm sorry that I didn't invite you to my party. If you help me lose this giant rear in time for my grand entrance, then I guess you can come. As long as you don't talk to me in front of anyone. Deal. Now hop aboard. Hey, where did you get this flying thingy? That's my little secret, Tammy. Somebody order some mutant teens? Ah, uh, yes. Excellent work, spies. Spies? Flying bikes? Mysterious dudes with English accents? Maybe you're not as lame as I thought, Megan. Thanks, I think. She'll have to catch up with you later, Tammy. Yeah, right now we've got a totally tricked out 13 to crash. For total weirdo, Cat sure has a lot of friends. If my friends eating mannequins, then yeah, I'd have to agree. Huh, never mind. Here she is, making a grand entrance. <laughs> Which, if you ask me, is a little too flashy. Tammy's party? Actually, 
Actually, I'm no longer invited. After Whoop erased her memory, she totally forgot about how cool I am. Sorry to hear it. <sighs> it's just as well. After that bizarro mission we just went on, I realized that totally tricked out 13s are a total waste of time. What's cool is being yourself. Hey, Lee, where are you going? To RSVP Tammy's party. After seeing all that cool stuff at Cats, I totally want to go. But that's not fair! I changed my mind. I want your invite! <laughs> it can happen if you can catch it. This is the latest sports car on the market. Sleek, luxurious, if you're not driving this car, you're living in the past, pal. It looks pretty sweet. Does it come in a hybrid model, too? Hydrogen, hybrid, electric, whatever you want. The future is now. Hmm. <laughs> what in the world is going on here? <gasps> wow! Thanks, but I think I'm gonna shop around a little more. Wait, I can give you a great deal on a recently acquired station wagon. <laughs> Come on, Megan, you've been in there over an hour. And there's no way you're convincing me to go to school in my pajamas again. It's way too embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, remember Dad's rule. There's a 15 minute time limit for morning bathroom use. Yeah, 15 minutes for boys. Girls get unlimited bathroom time. What? Since when is that part of the rule? Since, unlike boys, girls actually practice complete body hygiene. In fact, I think I can smell your dirty ears from here, Tony. Hmm? Not so fast, dude. If you want to hit the locker room, you're going to have to take a number like the rest of us. I'm not waiting to use the bathroom, Lee. I have bigger things on my mind. Huh? You mean you finally found a way to fix the hole in the ozone layer? Actually, I'm still working on that one. Right now, I'm trying to find a nice restaurant to take Mom and Dad to for their 15-year wedding anniversary. Oh, please, who cares about that boring grown-up stuff? For once, I agree with Lee. You're really off base on this one, Mark. Mom and Dad don't want to be reminded of how old they are. Lamesville, bro. Get back to me when you get a clue. Ah! If you'll excuse me. Hey, I'm not done in there. I still need to fluff and buff. Well, you guys can feel free to ignore their anniversary. Don't worry, I'll pick up the slack. Tony! Honey, are they playing? Our song? I think they are! <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is they've always treated us great on our birthdays. Yeah, because they have to. It's like a parent's job. And it's a kid's job to get spoiled with athletic gear and sports jerseys. Is it me, or is there something fishy going on with him? He seems a little too eager to celebrate this dumb anniversary. <laughs> Did you finish the graphs for my research paper? I'm almost done with the text. Here you go, Master. Awesome. Now, would you mind grabbing us a couple of smoothies? Here you go, Master. Happy birthday to me. Where would they keep the anniversary party planning books? <laughs> hey, sis, what's happening? More like what's not happening. I came here to research a term paper, but the computer system's all random and fritzy. Well, Way happened. retro. <gasps> Is this some kind of prank? Someone replaced the school's cutting-edge computers with ancient clunky computers. 
There's no mouse, or internet, or even email. I gotta tell Lee and Tony about this. Knowing those jokers, they might even be behind it. Hmm. Mine's dead too. Mom probably forgot to pay the bill again. Hey guys, do you read me? Read you? No, but I can hear you just fine. I take it your cell phones are down too, just like everyone else's? This doesn't make any sense. That would mean that several cell phone carriers are down all at once. I guess we need to go into spy mode and see what's causing it. Tell you what, Mark and I will check out the nearest cell phone antenna, and maybe you guys can check out... A TV station in England that's been sabotaged. I'm aware of all these global communication breakdowns, the consequences of which could be catastrophic. We're on it, Jerry. But what about gadgets? Look around. They're close at hand. I also tucked a special experimental gadget from the Whoop Lab into the mix. Enjoy. Close at hand? What does he mean by that? Looks like we've got a virtual whoop dingy thingy and the bungee grip grabber. If I knew what those were, I'm sure I'd think they were cool. Anyway, let's hit it. Later, guys. What about our gadgets? Huh, I wonder. G for gadget, perhaps? Awesome! We've got the close shave rogue wave and the invisibility pillity. Wow! Just swallow to activate invisibility function. That's like being a superhero. More like superhero et. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone got to it, all right. But what kind of person would want to mess up a phone tower? A person with no friends, no doubt. Let's see if I can spot any clues. Hey, there's a weird object near the top, but I can't make out what it is. I was afraid you were going to say that. Check it out. This place is more thrashed than I am after a football game. Come on, we better get inside and see if anyone's hurt. Looks like the workers probably all bailed when the place got attacked. Either that or they were way sick of the shows the station was airing. Hey, isn't this that really old show, The Beautiful Bold Boys and Bells of Bel Air? Yeah, and look at the lame picture quality in that prehistoric cassette player. Weird. Why would a first-run TV station be running retro junk like this? I think there's someone else in here. It came from this direction. Yeah! Someone or something troll size just use our shins for karate practice. Almost got it. Scratch that! My whole body's hurling toward the pavement. Is it just me, or does this look like a blonde dreadlock? Gross! You're right. I wonder who would wear this. <sighs> Come on, we can't let him get away. I think this calls for a gadget, like the bungee grip grabber. Uh, hey, bro, can I get some help here? Look out, incoming! Okay, normally this would seem rad, but I have a feeling it's gonna end badly. I hate it when they get away, especially when they're shorter than I am. Hey, now my MP comm won't even work. I can't call Jerry. How are we going to get home? Ah! Oh, oh. Jerry, we're completely spent. After our mission, we couldn't get a hold of you, so we had to take the bus back. And let me tell you, it's not nearly as nice as flying Whoop class. <laughs> so sorry, but all of Whoop's GPS email systems and communication satellites are down. The situation is getting dire. We need to figure out who would want to perpetrate such a plan. But how can we do our spy jobs without any communication system? We'll have to manage somehow. It reminds me of running Whoop back in the 90s before any of those things existed. Do we still have the capability to analyze clues? Because we have a weird one. Follow me to my personal lab. We'll crack this case before things get completely out of hand. Wow. Let's see if we can get a DNA read from this nasty piece of hair chunk. There's the DNA. Now let's see if we can find a match in the database. Looks like it's a close match for someone named Boogie Gus. 
Do you know anything about this dude, Jerry? Indeed I do. He's a criminal who is up against my Beverly Hills spy girls several times. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go round him up. By the way, you should have called us instead of using some lame Beverly Hills agents. Actually, those lame Beverly Hills agents caught him. Behold. He's been in our custody for quite some time now. Something's seriously wrong here. If that guy's in his cell, he couldn't have committed those acts of sabotage. And what are the chances of two people on the planet having such close DNA? I'm as much at a loss as you are. Perhaps you should head home before your parents get back. I'll keep you on standby. We need to get to the bottom of this. Guys, we've been here forever. We're never gonna find this weirdo. Don't worry, Megan. I'm sure another clue will turn up. Yeah, and if not, I can always buy one for you. Guys, as stimulating as this conversation is, this is my stop. I just remembered, I wanted to get an anniversary present for Mom and Dad. Oh, that again? Be sure to have it wrapped with pretty bows and ribbons. Yeah, and don't forget a sappy card. Actually, I want to come with you. That's the spirit, Tony. I could use some help picking something out for them. Not to help you, to check out the latest video game systems. <laughs> Hey, you think Mom and Dad would be into the new Rage Cube 3000 video game system? Here you go, Master. Yeah, I don't know. Sure, why not? Here you go, Master. Oh. Hey, what happened to all the good stuff? Did this place just turn into a flea market? Weird. All this stuff looks exactly like Mom and Dad's old junk. We better see if whoever did this is still outside. Ugh. We missed them! Which makes me a two-time spy loser today. Attention, Attention all shoppers. shoppers. The, the store, store is, is about, about to, to close. close. Well, if I don't grab Mom and Dad something now, I'll miss my opportunity. I hope this is something good. Hey guys, you're not gonna believe what just happened at the store. Let me guess, you and Nerdy Bro were robot shopping? What, robot shopping? Don't be ridiculous. Forget the store, what's going on out there? It looks like chaos. The high-tech traffic signals have been replaced with outdated equipment. That was fast, we were just out there and everything was okay. Luckily, mom and dad are safe at work. But how are we gonna get to Whoop to tell Jerry? Uh, dude, what is that? Hello spies, please, enter the mailbox. There's no time to lose. <laughs> What's the emergency, Jer? Sorry about the mailbox transport. That's how we used to whoop our agents in the old days. Now, permission. Wait, what's this thing you're wearing, Jerry? Someone removed all the contemporary clothing from my apartment, leaving only my outfit from when I managed boys' bands in the 90s. Yeah, uh, too bad we don't have time for you to elaborate. If you're referring to the chaos on the streets, I'm well aware of it, which is why I brought you back. Observe. Weird. Why is he tapping on that pipe? It's like he's sending Morse code messages to someone. It's more sophisticated than Morse code. We're not sure to whom he's sending it, but I guess it's whomever's behind these disturbances. I know an easy way to find out who his contact is. Let him lead us to him. Hmm. Open the cell door and let him walk out. We can follow him at a distance and see where he goes. It's so simple, it just might work. Let's break into two teams and follow this creep. Tony and I'll take the jet. You two follow him closely on foot. You'll have to retain visual contact. All of our communication systems are still down. Aye, aye, sir.
it's me! That invisibility penalty just saved my back. Ooh, I feel like a superhero! Hmm, looks like there's still a few kinks Jerry needs to work out of that gadget. Come on, Mark, we can't lose track of this guy! <gasps> Let's hope there's no kinks in the virtual whoop dingy thingy. <sighs> Mark, Megan, come in! No use. Looks like they're following in a boat now. Try and get lower so I can keep an eye on them. I'll try, but the fog bank over the water is making it tough. <gasps> hey, pick up the pace, Mark. He's starting to pull away. You got it, Captain Megan. I can't find him. The fog's as thick as a cheesecake at Thanksgiving. Mark, we're losing him in the fog! Correction, we lost him. Nonsense! <gasps> I'm right here! <gasps> Help! 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 Help us! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd never see my son again. Lay it on me, baby boy. Daddy! Oh. No. <laughs> right on. I found these snoopers along the way. They're too young to be whoop agents, but I didn't want to take a chance. <laughs> too young to be agents? Hello, did you look at this little half pint crook? Fine, then we'll just get rid of you nasty mini spies. You're right, Dad. Sooner we get rid of them, the sooner we can complete my plan. So what exactly is your plan? I'm not quite feeling it or understanding it. It's simple. I was born in the best decade ever, the 90s. So now I'm returning the world back to the way it was then. Entertainment, transportation, communication, fashion. We're turning the clock back on it all. Not as far as I like, but it's a start. And my dad's responsible for the device which swaps the new stuff with my awesome old stuff. Imagine what a trio that would be. <laughs> hey, where'd that girl go? <gasps> Oops. Power of invisibility? We never had that in the 90s. I don't like it. These people need to go. <laughs> Enough messing around. <laughs> We better get down there. Hold on. Huh? Oh! Who is that? And where did they come from? I just know where they're going. Back to the 90s! <laughs> What happened? I can't fly with these old instruments. We're going down. If he delivers the last of those goods, the city will be in ruins. Hey, I have one gadget left, the clean-shave rope wave. It may be our only chance. We better buckle up if we're going to use that one. 
Mission for once and for all. until Whoop disposes of it properly. Excellent work, Spies. Whoop agents are restoring the Earth's technology as we speak, and both of the Gusses are in a secure place. I'm just happy you're not wearing that ridiculous outfit anymore, Jerry. Well, I rather liked it. Anyway, don't forget your parents' anniversary. I hope you plan something nice for them. Ciao! Oh, good thing he reminded me. I need to give the parentals their gift. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. This is just a little token of my appreciation for being such great parents. Huh? Mark, you are so thoughtful. A lovely gift. You didn't have to. Ah, <laughs> you'd do the same for me. For example, you might get me something extra cool for my upcoming birthday. Happy birthday, Mark. Huh? But my birthday's not for months. We happened to find the perfect gift for you, so we decided to snatch it early. Open it. <gasps> Here you go, Master. Wow, look at that! A robot! Your mother and I were going to get you one for your birthday, but since you have this one... Hey, it's not too late! Two robots would be cool! <laughs> Nonsense! We can get you something you need, like socks and underwear! Ooh. Cal, look! Mark huh. got us a record player! <laughs> Don't be shy, kids! Join in! Did you have to get them such an embarrassing gift? Sector 11 is now clean. <laughs> then I should mess it up a little. <laughs> now let's see, could Jerry's password be Mama's boy, Ascot, spies? Yeah, got it. Let the evil games begin. <laughs> this little trek qualifies as a mission. You're right. Ugh, how many spies do you know that are sent halfway around the world on flower picking duty? <sighs> well, if it'll cure whatever's ailing the boss man, then I guess it's worth it. <laughs> I found it. <clears throat> Please tell me that's your stomach. Nope, I ate six freeze-dried whoop meals at base camp. The tank is full. Then that can only mean one thing. Come on, guys, let's kick this non mission into high gear. We need to hyper jump it. Thinking of 
comfort, my weak arm's about to give out! If we can swing it like a pendulum, we might be able to make it to the other side of the crevasse. It's worth a shot, but we gotta do it fast before Tony's muscles turn to mush. <gasps> Coolio! Oh, as the geekiest member of the family, I've definitely had enough excitement for one day. Surprise! Uh, what's with the fanny package and ugly shirts, people? We won a trip! An all-expenses-paid week-long cruise for six to the South Pacific! A cruise? Like on a boat? Not a boat. A fully loaded, chock full of amenities, good times galore luxury liner! Now get upstairs and pack. We leave in the morning. <laughs> hmm. A free cruise? Oh, this is too good to be true! What's wrong, Mark? Aren't you excited? Excited? More like horrified. Luxury liner is just another way of saying seven days of seasickness. Speaking of sickness, we'd better call Jerry and let him know what's going on ASAP. <laughs> hey, Jer, how you feeling? Bless you! That's good, eh? Oh, I'm afraid so. Though I'm happy to have my new pillow here to keep me comfy. <laughs> Don't worry. We retrieved the rare Nepalese flower you wanted. I'm sure it'll cure your cold. <laughs> oh, dear. It's making me feel quite worse. In fact, I'm itchier than a dog with fleas. Looks like Operation Cold Cure isn't over yet. Though I'm thankful for all you've been doing to help me, my illness isn't the reason I summoned you. It's not? No, I brought you here to tell you that the WHOOP security system was breached. It appears your cover could have been compromised. No, what? <gasps> you mean someone knows we're spies? No, I'm not positive, but I want you to be very careful on your cruise. <gasps> How do you know about our cruise? Were you spying on us again? I can't disclose that, but I would like you to take a few gadgets with you on your journey. Today, you'll be utilizing the Wily Whirlwind Watch, which creates a cyclone of air with the touch of a button. The Naga Halokia Pepper Pepper Spray, made from the hottest pepper on Earth. And finally, new from the Whoop Lab, the Brainwave Binoculars, which promise to be fun for the whole family. Thanks, Jer. No, oh, you're quite welcome. Now, ta-ta, and happy cruising. This puts the eye in awesome. I can't wait to check out our deluxe two-story cabin. And I can't wait to check out the pool. It has a laser light slash fountain show every half hour. And Mark and I are going straight to the movie theater. <sighs> Hopefully the air conditioning will put the freeze on my motion sickness. Sounds good, team. We'll see you at the 200 Choices Mega Buffet for dinner promptly at 6 p.m. This is posher than I imagined. I know. It even comes with its own elevator. <gasps> <laughs> Too bad you won't get to enjoy it. <laughs> Now, this is the life Tony was meant to lead. And it's about to get a whole lot sweeter. Yeah, since when is the good life supposed to hurt so much? It's not, T. There's something way wrong happening here. <coughs> Lee, help me! Help! 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 Relax, T. I've got you. Me and the Wily Whirlwind Watch. 
<gasps> nice save, big bro! This is amazing! I've never seen a screen so massive! Uh, I'll take your word for it. If I open my eyes right now, I just might lose my lunch. <gasps> The theater just reached 130 degrees. Then it looks like our movie mission's over, bro. Well, where's the manager? Someone call the manager, please. Please, let me out. Let me out. I can't take any more of this. Hey, it's long. I knew this cruise was a bad idea. If we don't get out of here fast, we're going to cook like Thanksgiving turkeys. No worries. I'm on it. Oh. Or maybe not. The blade's too big to fit in the lock. But it's not too big to cut it off. Good work, Mr. Queasy. Now come on, we better call Lee and Tony. So let me get this straight. We almost got geyser blasted in the pool and you almost got desert fried in the movie theater? Yep, which is why I think we should all be on high alert, just like Jerry said. <gasps> Is it another half lunch? Uh, no, this time it actually is my stomach, which means it must be dinner time. Which also means we need to meet Mom and Dad at the buffet, now. Mmm. Okay, I see chicken cashew kebabs, sweet potato dumplings, and chocolate dipped strawberries, but no parentals. I see we eat now, worry later. Tony, something could have happened to them. We'd better head to the cabin to see if they're okay. Besides, I'm too sick to eat anyway. That makes one of us. This is just too freaky. It's so not like Mom and Dad to not call or leave a note or anything. Hey, check that out. Something tells me it wasn't left by the cleaning crew. I agree, which is why we better send it to Jerry for analysis. Yeah, hello, spies. Mister, I know you're spying on us. Nonsense. I just noticed you're cruising over an area that contains an item that could help heal my cold. We'll get on it, Jerry, right after we find our missing parents. Huh. Hi, kid. Good to see you. Where have you been? We waited for you at the buffet, but you didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we've been having so much fun, we forgot all about it. And now we're going to take a merengue lesson. Toodles. Toodles? Merengue? Is it me or are those two acting super strange? Not to mention bizarrely happy. They had smiles plastered on their faces. Maybe they're just really psyched about the cruise and it's making them act all goofy. I guess it's possible. Let's forget about it and try to enjoy ourselves. After we do a little dive for Jerry, that is. Hatch closed. Commence diving. Oh, in case you're wondering, motion sickness is worse when you're under the water. And so is claustrophobia. Try not to think about it, bro. So what exactly does the Jeremeister have us looking for? According to the digital dossier he left for us, Electrophorus electricus. Is that some kind of funky plant? Uh, not exactly. Apparently, Jerry plans on using his venom as a lotion. Then we better use the sub's claw to snag him, because there's no way I'm touching that thing. Hey, hey, what was that? It looks like some kind of harpoon. Maybe someone's after us after all. We'll have to worry about it later, because right now we have bigger, soggier, scarier problems. <gasps> Yeah, like the door being stuck! Uh, guys, I think the sub filling with water is the least of our troubles. What do you mean? I mean that either my seasickness is making me delirious, or two people who look like our parents just attacked us. But that's crazy. 
crazy. There's no way they do something like that. Is there? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Jet back to the ship and start spying on the P units. made a mistake. Mom and Dad don't have a mean bone in their bodies. She's right. How many villains do you know that go crocheting after an attack? Oh, hasn't this day been exhilarating? I mean, who knew cruising could be so much fun? Of course, it isn't as fun as eliminating the children. <gasps> <laughs> you are so right. What did they say? Way to blow our cover, T-Man. Sorry, it's not every day I realize my parents are totally evil. What are you brats doing here? Yeah, we thought the third time would be the take you out charm. So that was you who came after us. You bet. After our swimming pool and movie theater attacks failed, we thought for sure the harpoon trick would do you in. <laughs> well, it didn't, so get ready for another round. Yeah, and just because we're related, don't think we're going to go easy on you. OK, but I'm warning you, you're no match for Mommy and Daddy. Hi! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa is right! Where did you learn that move, Mom? The same place I learned this little gem! Ha! 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 Talk about spy embarrassing! I can't believe we just got our butts kicked by a couple of old fogies! We may be older, but we're also wiser. Which is why we're not about to let you get away this time. <gasps> awesome! It's not awesome, Tony. We just got captured. I know, but God, it missile bungee cords are seriously cool gadgets. Thanks. I stole the idea from Whoop all by myself. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and that's not all I've been up to. Since I had trouble taking you out on Everest, I thought I'd get your parents to help me out, so I set them up on this little cruise. But why would you do such a thing? Yeah, who are you? And what do you have against us? Mm, that's for me to know and you to find out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to force your folks to drive the ship into an oil platform so that you'll finally be destroyed! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we've officially moved into wacky mission territory. You're talking about the part where our parents are rogue spies? Or the part where an angry, childish little kid has it in for us? Does it really matter? We're on a collision course with an oil platform, people! A platform that's gonna explode if we hit it! Which is why we've gotta find a way out of here fast! <laughs> Jerry, is that you? Indeed. Uh, but where are you, spies? We're trapped inside the elevator! A baddie brainwashed our rents, and now they're trying to blow us up! And if you were spying on us like you normally do, you'd know that. Oh, let me see what I can do to assist you. Oh, my. I'm afraid my hologram status precludes my assisting you, at least in the physical sense. Then you're going to have to help us in the mental sense. Well, since the elevator controls are out of commission, I suggest you try and access one of your freeze disks. <gasps> Got it! Oh, yay plus, Megan. You win the gold star. Nice going, sis. Now to get rid of our bungerific bindings. Uh, Tony, how come you didn't do that before? Give me a break. I'm only 11. I just thought of it. Okay, less talking, more spying. We've got to stop and save our parents. Indeed. I'll call you on the mobile. We're heading to the control room. If our parents are going to steer the ship into an oil platform, that's the place to do it from. You're right, Ho. And now for the results of the scan on the glove you sent me. Lay it on us, Jer. I can't wait to find out who's been tormenting us. Using a print from inside the garment, I've determined it belongs to computer genius Davy Hacker. But that can't be right. Whoever turned our parents into villains is just a runty kid. 
Davy Hacker is a kid. A brilliant one. When he wasn't accepted into the Whoop Spy program, he decided to use his talents for evil. So that's why he's going after us? Because we got into the program and he didn't? It would appear that way. Ah, shoo! Because I'm tight. But thanks for the info. Actually, I have another favor to ask. If you survived the mission, would you mind getting a drop of unrefined oil from the platform? If used as a shampoo, it's guaranteed to cure your ills. Whatever floats your boat, Jer. No pun intended. There it is, Karen. The oil platform. Oh, this is so fun, Cal. I can't wait to plow into it. <laughs> Sorry, Mom and Pop, but the fun ends here. As in the cruise is over and you're both grounded. How dare you talk to your elders like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom, but you've got to give respect to get respect. <laughs> Tell that to the nunchuck fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> Or perhaps you prefer tangling with the lay lasso. Oh, okay, dizziness officially coming back. <laughs> Actually, I'd prefer to pretend my family isn't completely bonkers. Maybe you won't have to pretend, Megan. Mom and Dad, say hello to Nagahalokia Pepper Pepper Spray. Trust me, it's for your own good. <laughs> I guess sneezing is the theme of the day. And I guess mind-controlling microchips are the weapon of the day. Good work, Tony. What's happening? What are we doing in the ship's control room? And why are the captain and his assistant tied up like that? Wish we had time to explain, but as you can see, time's running out. <gasps> Mark, get away from those controls this instant! Your mother's right. You shouldn't be touching anything. I don't think it matters. Even if we change course now, we're still going to hit the platform. Then there's only one thing left to do. Abandon ship! Don't go anywhere yet. We still have one trick up our sleeve. The brainwave binoculars. Come on, spies, gather round. Now, focus on the target and concentrate. Our brainwaves will do the rest. Letting that tongue sticky outy twerp go anywhere. Uh, no fear! I want to be a spy too! Mommy! Another job well done, team. Our pleasure, especially since we erased our parents' memories, making them forget the entire horrific cruise experience. Speaking of horrific, what's gonna happen to Davy? Because he's such a young villain, instead of spending time in jail, he'll be going to the Whoop Rehabilitation Program. Well, you know what they say, all's well that ends well. Naturally, not all is well. You're right, we totally forgot to give you your grossy oil droplet. Wait a sec, Jer. You don't have a cold. You're allergic to your new pillow. Which means you sent us on a wild goose chase for no reason. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll make it up to you. Whoop cruise, anyone? Thanks, Jer, but... <gasps> a simple no would have sufficed.
Friend. All applicants considered experience not necessary. How about you, cutie? Well, so is that a yes? Hmm. Uh, hello? Huh? Anybody there? Tony, we talked about this. You locked the locker from the outside. For your information, I didn't lock myself in. I was shoved in by a girl. All I did was ask her out. Ask her out? Since when do you date? Since never. I just figured having a girlfriend might get me some R-E-S-P-E-C. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, where's Tony? He took my lunch by accident. Wasn't an accident, bro. Your sandwich looked better than mine. Hey, Tony. Hey, what'd you do to deserve the locker banishment this time? Nothing. I was just date fishing and the fishettes weren't biting. Uh, maybe someone who calls young women fishettes isn't ready to date. <clears throat> Is someone gonna bust me out of here or what? I'm starving and so ready to eat Mark's lunch. You know, Tony, if you really want to find a date, I'd be happy to help you out. <sighs> What about me? One project at a time, Mark. Yo, you forgot me! Uh. <laughs> I'll, I'll go back in here. Wow, very disaster area chic. Yeah, Mark should be back from the library any minute to clean it. But at least you can do this. Whee! Seriously think my baby bro's ready for a date? Because from the smell of things, he's more ready for a bath. Guess we'll find out. I've created a date a base program to come up with a list of potential dates. Ooh, look at all the honeys. <laughs> I mean, babes. Oh, lovely girls. That's right. And I figured we'd go over each lovely girl's likes and dislikes, and then we can decide who you might want to go out with. Oh, too late. Huh? I just emailed all 15. Tony, you're never going to get a date like that. You're right. I got five dates. Pretty smart, huh? Yeah, by smart you mean the dumbest thing ever. Let me crunch some numbers for you, Tony. Five girls plus one puny you equals big trouble. Oh, you know I hate math. How am I going to get out of this? Huh? Whoa! Hey, where's Mark? Looks like Jared forgot to whoop him. Here I am. And let me tell you, getting sucked through the book depository is no picnic. What? <laughs> So what's our mission, Jer? All business, I see. I have surveillance footage from a remote whoop prison. Seems a chip controlling the security codes has gone missing, though there are no signs of criminal activity. So what do you need us for? Ah, uh, I think he wants us to investigate. Uh, precisely. So get ready to go to prison. Cool! I was born ready to go to... prison? I'm afraid it's necessary if you're to discover who stole the missing chip, because if it were to fall into the wrong hands, global security will be at its highest threat level ever. Then I guess it's gadget time. Today, you'll have inline super skate wheels, enabling your boots to shred like there's no tomorrow. Impressive! <laughs> Next is the Nano Nail, a nanotechnologically based device that fits on a fingernail, only it's a lot sharper. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Hey, how come those guys get all that neat stuff and I get stuck with boring old deodorant? Boring? I think not. It's a demoleculizer deodorant, fresh from the Whoop Lab, and the effects are only temporary. Awesome! Glad you like. Now, top, top spies, it's mission time. <laughs> a 
According to the sub's tracking system, we should be at the prison any minute. Whoop suspects that the chipnapper might still be in prison, so we'll have to do our best to blend in. Looks like Jerry would agree. Well, Mark and I go in, you and Megan can guide us from here. In that case, let me give you a demoleculizing spritz so you can break in. And don't use too much. You might want to save some to make your five dates disappear. My dates? I totally forgot. Check it out. It's a girl palooza. You mean you didn't call and cancel? Why would I? I'm worth waiting for, right? Wrong. <gasps> okay, spies, it's time to focus because our prison sentence is about to officially begin. Locked up in here at your age? <laughs> kids today. We're not kids, we're spies. Okay, guys, you're clear to investigate. But whatever you do, avoid the halls. Consider it done. Yeah. So, which way do we go? Make two lefts, a quick right, and another left. Two lefts and a quick right and a left? Right. Not right, left. Ah! Uh -huh. Or down? Oopsie! Better shake it off and get out of there before you get... caught. Great moves, guys! But when you're done playing with your food, you might want to make a right out the kitchen door and head down the hall to the security area. We're all over it. Just gotta tie up a few loose ends first. Whoa! <laughs> Nothing to see here, except some flaked off paint. I'll get a sample. Grab a sample of that footprint, too. What footprint? The one on the ceiling. Whoa! Whoever stole the chip must have broken the law of gravity before they broke out of prison. <clears throat> Is it me, or does the reception down here stink? Just scan the footprint and let's get out of here before someone spots us. A little power boost should fix it. Huh? Hey, our screen went blank. And I can't hear Mark and Lee. They cut off communication. Yeah, if by they you mean you. So what do we do? Just be patient. The signal will come back. Be patient? Never. I'll have it fixed in no time. <laughs> ah! What happened? Tony. Tony! Freak on me later. Right now, we've got to save our brothers. <sighs> You saved us. Actually, it was me who saved you and Tony who almost landed you in prison because of his impatience. Uh-oh. Speaking of impatience, I wonder if my dates are still there. Hmm. Hey, girls. Sorry for being gone for so long, but I had a very important mission. Uh, I had to go read to my grandma at the retirement home. That's so cute. Oh, give me a break. You know that that's settled? I'm out of here. Not so fast. That is so not how you treat a young lady. Or five young ladies. Do I like dogs? Do I like cats? Do I like ferrets? Yes. Yes. What's a ferret? Hello? Hey, Megan, we have some intel on that footprint. It's from a boot sold only in Pisa, a city in Italy. I always knew there had to be a reason the country was boot-shaped. We'll meet you at the jet ASAP. <sighs> uh, what's your dog's favorite bet? Oh, it's your favorite sign! Whoa. My sign is stop, as in stop talking and let's go to Pisa. Check, please. There goes my allowance for the next 10 years. Okay, 
Battle Team, it's go time! Hey, check it out! That tower's leaning! It's the Leaning Tower of Pisa? And don't worry, it's held up since 1173. Okay, guys, let's divide and conquer. Megan and Tony, you check out some shoe stores to see if they know who bought those boots. Mark and I'll hit the streets looking for specific footprints. Excuse me, we're looking for boots. Yeah, do you have, uh, these in my size? I don't think they speak English. Ahem. Sto cercando gli stivali che corrispondono a queste impronte e per il mio speciale saggio di danza. Either your Italian's a little rusty or these two are trouble. I'm going with choice A. Cool, I'd love to be able to do that. Whoa! Looks like they want you to do it, too! At least this will be more exciting than shoe shopping. Watch out for that clog! <laughs> Thanks, T. Now why don't you fling those flip-flops? <laughs> Looks like shoes have officially dropped. <laughs> what happened? We were watching some street performers and things got a little heated. Well, we had our own trouble at the shoe store, but we managed to escape. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Guys, our shoe clue just went up in flames. Maybe there's more than one clue. Look at that white speck of paint. Kind of looks like the white speck at the prison. It's a match, but it's not paint. It's made up of makeup. I don't wear makeup. This pretty face is 100% Megan. <gasps> Mark, what's wrong? You see a ghost? Worse, a clown! You're still scared of clowns? <laughs> Light show's over. Yeah. <laughs> I knew my irrational fear of clowns was rational. Totally rational, considering that wasn't just a clown, that was... The Juggler, a very dangerous villain. Your new mission is to capture the absconded acrobat and the chip. Be careful, spies. This clown is no joke. But what does this Juggler have to do with the missing microchip? And what does this Juggler want? I say we find out where this clown is hiding and impolitely ask him. Thanks to the Whoop satellite, all we have to do is track the highest concentration of prints around Pisa, and we'll find out where his clever hiding spot is. Most obvious secret hiding spot ever! Uh, why am I suddenly afraid of heights? Just take it slow and steady. Yeah, the key is to maintain balance. It sounds great. If only I could stop shaking. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Get in dodgeball, anyone? Jump on that platform. We'll be safe. <gasps> We're sorry. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't look down or up. We have to get out of here before that time bomb goes off and takes us with it! Tony, no! I mean, yes! This circus is a total freak show! <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment! I suppose you came for this! Whoa! Don't waste your energy! Funny how something this small can help turn the world into an evil circus! <laughs> uh, guess he took his chip and went home. <laughs> he must have used the same freaky footwear to climb the prison walls. <gasps> What's that? It's just my voicemail. Hey, Tony, I had a blast on our day. Hey, Tony, that table hopping thing was so fun. 
Honey, when can we go out again? Well, well, looks like all the ladies want to date me. That's great, but right now we have more important things to do, like figure out what the jugular show is all about. you are a bunch of phone numbers. Those aren't phone numbers. Those are Hoop security codes he got from that chip. I'm guessing he's going to use those codes to release the prisoners. Then it's more jail time for us. Let's go. That's so funny. Must be laughing gas. Use the freeze just to cut the walls! Well, now we know. Dying of laughter? So not funny. We better head back to Woot Prison, but be prepared. Things could be totally out of control. Not. So if the jugular didn't release the prisoners, what's he doing with the security codes? I don't know. The only places the codes have any use are the prison and... Whoop! Headquarters! It's the ideal place to turn the world into an evil circus. We'd better tell... Jerry! Please tell me this is an elaborate costume party. Yes, it is a party! A goodbye party for Whoop! <laughs> Don't worry about me. Worry about them. <laughs> They're barricaded in the training facility, but not for long. <laughs> Nails on a freeze disc won't make that door disappear, but we can disappear. Welcome to the most terrifying show on Earth! A performance you won't live to tell about! <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, great! More of these jokers! <laughs> All the way! Hmm. Joke's over, jesters. Not quite. Prepare for your finale! <laughs> Make room for Tony! <laughs> Next stop for this traveling circus, Whoop Prison. I'm much more than okay, Spies. Thanks to your skills and your patience, you saved me and Whoop from demise. Yeah, yeah, patience. Are we done here? Because I have five dates to call back.
You see, now that all the ladies love me, I'll definitely get the respect I deserve. So, Tony, which one of the girls did you end up asking out again? None. I couldn't decide who deserved me. But before I make some lucky girl really happy, I'm going to play hard to get. Make them sweat it out a bit. Oh, Tony! <laughs> is it hot in here, or is it just me? Now, girls, let's discuss this maturely. <laughs> The combo's 34, 6, 12. <laughs> Megan! How could you? Sorry, but you gotta give respect to get respect. Dudes, you'll have your revenge soon enough. <laughs> no way! It's finally here! It's amazing what you can order off the internet these days, Fido. <laughs> So ready for the yummy food and the fun games. That's right, little guy. Tony Wooney's gonna love you, love you, love you. Okay, that's way weird. Could you be any more embarrassing and babyish, bro? Agreed. Uh, you wanna explain why you're conversing with a piece of dust tea? It isn't dust, it's lint. And since mom and dad won't let me have a real pet, fuzzy's all I've got. Come on, Tony. I'm sure if you tell them you really want one, they'll change their minds. Uh, newsflash, Megan. Tony doesn't exactly have a good track record when it comes to pets, remember? Or have you forgotten the stray cat he brought home who thought Mark's bed was a ball of string? Or the iguana that decided it liked your bed better than its cage? Or the goat that ate my homework? And the family car? <sighs> You're right, Lee. Tony's pet days have gone the way of the dodo bird. Total extinction. <laughs> Fuzzy, no! I can't believe Jair just blew my bed away! And I can't believe you named a piece of lint Fuzzy! Good morning, spies. So glad you could make it. Did we have a choice? No, of course not. Anyway, I have an unusual assignment for you. Really? You mean regular unusual or unusual unusual? Actually, it's the latter. Observe. In addition to a cold front moving into the Pacific Northwest and a low-pressure system forming over the Mediterranean, there have been sightings of strange creatures all over the globe. Uh, what kind of strange creatures, Jer? Creatures that don't meet the classification of any known species and apparently like to attack people. In that case, why don't we segue right into the gadgets and make sure they're good ones, sir? Very well. Today you'll be using the Polar Blast Ray Gun, which due to its Mark 6 firing speed emits a breeze so chilly, it's guaranteed to freeze villains in their tracks. Cool! No pun intended. The supersonic whistle in an ear-splitting 300 decibels. Awesome! I can't wait to... I'm sure you would, but its effects are too potent for casual use. In fact, it comes with its own supersonic earplugs. And last but not least, fresh from the Whoop Laboratory, a pair of light-speed shin guards. Ooh, human-powered transportation. I'm sure they're great for the environment. So, what's our destination du jour, Jer? I got a C-plus on my French quiz. Megan and Tony will be going to a cattle farm in Texas, and you and Mark are headed to a makeup factory in Canada. Now, farewell, spies. 
And watch that headwind coming off the ocean. Ah! It's a doozy. Ah! There it is. Strange Creature Sighting Headquarters. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to sight strange creatures with no way inside. You're right. Not only is the roof made of metal, it's extraordinarily thick. No sweat, bro. We've got our laser wire cutters on hand. Hey, watch it! If I go home with no hair, I'm gonna have a lot of explaining to do to Mom and Dad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got a little carried away. Let your big brain brother show you how it's done, Lee. All we need to do is increase the temp a bit. Great idea. Except we need intense heat, not extreme cold. I know, which is precisely why I'm gonna reverse the ray's polarity. A big brain and a big ego. Nice job, bro. Whoa! Whatever did this must be very angry. And have serious acrobatic skills. Look at those hoof prints. They're even weirder than Tony's lint pet. Whatever did this walks upright on two legs. I got a C plus in my bio quiz, too. This mess, Tony. It's worse than your bedroom. Tony? Tony, where are you? Hello, little Rocky Rocky. Do you want to be Tony's Betty Weddy? Well, Tony won't he's gonna love you, love you, love you. Tony, we're in the middle of a mission. What are you doing? Duh! I'm bonding with my new pet rock. I think I'll call him Stony. Um, I hate to say it, little bro, but you look like a five-year-old. What did you say, Stony? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah, Stony says to tell you Tony just found a clue on the barn door. Hey, you're right. There's a bunch of scratch marks here, and they look like they form a pattern. I wonder what could have caused them. Okay, now this is what I call bizarro. Those marks were made by a vampire bat. Look, there's a big fang stuck in the door. Wow! We need to bring it to Jerry for analysis right away. <gasps> I got you now, creature! <sighs> hmm. Sorry about that, kids, but you shouldn't be playing around here. It's too dangerous. Ever since that flying thing showed up. Thing? What kind of thing? I didn't get a good look at it, but it told me to stop keeping my cows in cramped pens, or else. I'm gonna go inside before the sun sets, and you better take cover too, if you know what's good for you. Flying bad creatures that talk? Either this farmer's been eating too many corn cobs, or this is the strangest mission ever. Uh, hey guys, how's it going? It's going great. You know, in a scary here standing up on your neck kind of way. And when we weren't busy screaming, we even managed to find a clue. We found one too, and it scores off the charts on the freak meter <gasps> Come on, we've got to get to them on the double. How can we make it there in time? Easy with the light speed shin guards. <sighs> Well, what are you waiting for, little bro? Hop on my back. Huh. Yeah! <sighs> okay, this may be beneficial for the environment, but it's murder on my legs. Uh, Megan, it might help if you turn the gadget on first. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, for you! I just did a cross-continental sprint in under five seconds! <laughs> okay, Megan, giddy up! Okay, guys, this thing is unhappy, and it seems to be gaining on us! <laughs> Do you hear that? It's running water! So? So, if we can reach it, the creature will lose our scent! Come on, this way! <laughs> Any other bright ideas, Mark? Yeah, close your eyes and pretend this isn't happening! Ah! Tony! Huh, guess 
Jerry wasn't kidding when he said the supersonic whistle was potent. Ah! Hey team, nice of you to drop in. It's the least we could do, considering it was Tony's fault that you fell. My fault? Hello, Jerry should know better than to give us such unsafe gadgets. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I've had enough for one day. Let's send our clues to Jerry and head home. Awesome idea! I can't wait to take Stoney to the school fair. Uh, I know I'm gonna be sorry for asking this, but who's Stoney? The newest addition to the Clark family. Lee, Mark, meet my adorable pet rock. Huh? <laughs> oh no! Stoney's gone! Guess we must have lost him during our little jog. I'll never love another rock again. Stony missing. I'm so happy we finally get to go to the fair. P.U., oh, what's that smell? That smell is Socky Wocky, Tony Wony's brand new pet. Tony Wony's gonna love you, love you, love you. Can you believe how cute he is? Ugh, cute? More like gross. Are you sure you don't want to call him Smelly Welly? Hmm? Hello, spies. I have a bit of info for you. After analyzing the fang from Texas, I've determined it contains half human, half bat DNA. And after studying the Digisnap from Canada, I've concluded the footprints belong to a half-human, half-boar. Okay, this sounds very loco, Jer. How is this even possible? By combining the two in a simple laboratory procedure. It's called recombinant DNA, or RDNA for short. At least that's what I read in Young Scientist Weekly. More like Young Scientist Geekly, little bro. Anyway, we better figure out who's behind it ASAP. You're quite right. Unless something's done, the situation could become rather dire. Oh, dear. Lay it on us, Jer, because whenever you make that old man crinkle face, it means bad news. I'm afraid another attack is in progress. This one at your own city zoo. Then it's time for us to get our spy on. Excellent. Though you may want to bring an umbrella, I see some cloud cover moving in. And be careful! Creatures is one thing, seeing them is a whole other deal. Come on, we've got to stop him. I mean, it. I mean, ooh, whatever. Good thing Whoop provides us with self deploying parachutes. Whoa! And I thought Lee was good at climbing trees. Koala Man's got it going on! So does Spy Boy and his trusty sidekick, Saki! Now step back! <laughs> nice move, Tony! Except for the part where the bad guy got away. He may have escaped, but the trail is just getting hot. No way. It's the same symbol we saw in that barn door. Let me guess. It belongs to another freaky lab doing crazy research? More like an animal rescue group looking to protect creatures big and small. Well, we better check it out ASAP before Jerry's forecast comes true. <sighs> Look on the bright side, T. At least he's getting a bath. <laughs> this is the place. Now how do we get inside? I got a D minus in problem solving. Easy. All we have to do is crack the code. Uh, Mark, remind us how that's easy again? Based on the way the numbers are worn on the keypad, it's a three-digit code consisting of three, four, and seven. Hey, 
that was easy. And the award for speaking too soon goes to... Tony! Well, it looks like a pretty normal animal rescue place to me. Uh, I think you might want to rethink that, Megan. Whoa, is that the RDNA stuff you were talking about earlier, Mark? No, it's just regular human DNA, which means that somehow it must have been injected into the animals that attacked us. Injected? Dude, that's way too cruel. I turned it into an edible form and slipped it into their food. Oh yeah, that sounds very cruelty-free. What can I say? I was sick of animals being mistreated, so I decided to feed the ones I rescued a little human DNA and encourage them to revolt. Uh, no offense, but that's the worst plan I've ever heard. And I should know. No, it's not. It's awesome. And if you don't believe me, why not ask the animals themselves? Pretty boss, eh? Yeah, if you weren't going to capture us and leave to do the rest of your evil bidding, I'd be super psyched. Well, have you, like, done this kind of thing before? Yes, we have, Lamo Boy, and there's no way your plan's going to work. <laughs> we'll see about that, dudes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to return the animal kingdom to the animals. Not so fast. Understand? I'm trying to help you dudes! Well, manipulating our DNA isn't the way to go about it. to the anima peeps. Before I adopt a piece of this broken door is my new pet. Just one problem, little buddy. We have no idea where they went. I'm afraid I have some more bad news. Several creatures are attacking your school fair. Whoa, killer gadget, dudes. Oh. Ah. Thanks, boss. We'll be there as soon as we can. Oh, and if you could come pick up villain dude, we'd really appreciate it. It would be my pleasure. In fact, the barometric pressure is perfect for procuring bad guys. Even if we are here to chase down scary creatures, at least we finally made it to the fair. So I wonder where they are. Hey! <laughs> Goldfish are meant to swim in ponds, not be given away as prizes. <laughs> uh, it looks like their animal instincts are kicking in, and not in a good way. Which means we need to come up with a plan to outsmart them. Who needs plans when you have spy power? Hold it right there! Yo, Fido, can you help me out, dude? Good boy. Now there's just one more thing I need you to do for me. Oh, oh my. Looks like stormy weather ahead. <sighs> okay, Megan, just because your brothers have been taken away by a pack of ugly mugglies is no reason to panic. There's got to be something you can do to save them. And fast! Ooh, I know just the thing. Lightspeed chin guards, do your thing! If you let me go, I'll promise never to have another pet again. I'm like a fragile peach! I bruise easily! Sorry, Bat Lady, but you're so not Tony's type. He likes his girls a little less hairy and a lot less scary. Megan, I owe you major. Thank me later. Right now, I've got two more Clark boys to save. Actually, I think the tag team approach might be the way to go. You're right. Catching bad guys is cooler when we do it together. Hey, can't you tell by 
his pasty skin that marks a vegetarian? Nice move, Tony. Now it's my turn to get a fast fix. Look, koala guy. Ugh. Just because part of you is furry and sweet doesn't mean I won't take the rest of you out. I second the motion. Now that's what I call a mission accomplished. Sorry, dudes, but that's where you're wrong. There's no way you're taking me or my creatures down. <laughs> Uh, I've heard of people looking like their pets before, but this is ridiculous. What choice did I have? To stop you from ruining my master plan, I had to turn myself into half Derek, half Fido! <laughs> and you thought my pet relationships were weird. By the way, you might want to cover your ears and hope that the supersonic whistle works on Doggy Derek. Ah, no fair! My ears are way sensitive! Sorry, Derek, but life isn't fair. <sighs> Especially when you're a villain. <gasps> and now for tonight's forecast. Clear skies and a trip to Whoop Prison. Cheerio! Custody and the animals back to normal and safe in a whoop sanctuary. Are you finally over your pet craze? And by craze, we mean complete and total obsession. Let's put it this way. If I never have another pet as long as I live, that'll be just fine with me. Well, hey, kids. Did you enjoy the fair? We did. You know, as much as four active kids on the go can. Well, we enjoyed it, too, because we won a goldfish. Huh? Huh? And after a little discussion, your father and I changed our minds. You can have a pet after all, Tony. No! <laughs> <laughs>